It's not when we played, you know, back in the, in the 80s and 90s. It's often referred to as a game of inches. And by almost any measure, football is the most popular sport in America. Almost one million high school boys played 11-man football in the 2021-2022 season, nearly equaling the totals of basketball and baseball combined. Hey, we got 30 minutes for the rest of our lives! 30 minutes for the rest of our lives! But the sport has faced multiple challenges over the past decade, including safety concerns. We have an individual that hyperventilating after exercising and unable to control their breath. Vocal critics speaking out against the game and declining participation numbers nationwide. A lot of frustration from a lot of guys because it is going the other direction for most. I think part of it is, you know, we had the big concussion scare uh, the last, you know, five, ten years. Repetitive head trauma chokes the brain. Statistics show that participation numbers have been falling since 2010. 11-man football is down 9.6%, but coaches, programs, and the game pushing back. Equipment has never been safer. Riddell produced a system that actually has a five zone sensor in those helmets that we can in real life data uh, get impact blows on a helmet. Practices have never been more regulated. We practice differently. We're in um, helmet and shoulder pads and we don't take guys to the ground. We're teaching proper techniques which has made the game safer and less hits on kids is better. Protocols have been mandated. We have to go through hours and hours of um, certifications every year. But the optics of a big and now illegal hit can still be hard to look at. You think about X's and O's and trying to, how do you win games, but your off season is, okay, how do we increase you know, our numbers and get kids out for football? Statistics paint an even grimmer picture statewide in Oregon. The decline in participation numbers since 2008 is approaching 24%. In 2008, the Oregon School Activities Association reported 14,775 participants in football across the state. Fast forward to 2021, and that number dropped to 11,260. The trend is decreasing. But the trend isn't a hard and fast rule. In Central Oregon, many schools are seeing an increase in their numbers and even breaking school records. So this year we have 125 kids participating. Um, the highest ever at Summit was 94, so we've blown the doors off. At Summit High School in Bend, head coach Corbin Hyatt's numbers are so high, he ran out of lockers. I came home after handing out gear the first day of practice and came home and told my wife to get on Amazon and we had to Amazon Prime gear in the next day because we just didn't have enough of certain things. And at Ridgeview High in Redmond, it's the first time in the school's history that they've been able to field three teams. They fielded a freshman team in the past, but there's no JV team. This year we have all three. Uh, I think we're up to 34 freshmen at the moment. Um, got a solid size JV team and obviously our varsity team. So uh, we're looking about 95 kids in the program currently. Head coach Patrick Pileggi chalks it up to multiple factors, including a willingness to adapt his program to a new generation of kids. It's finding ways to connect with kids and get them interested. Putting out game day publicity, you know, putting together cool graphics, things like that, player of the week, kids like that. They live on social media. And so again, it's one of those things that they see um, that might be like, oh, that's kind of cool, maybe I should try this football thing out. A social media presence, making practices more fun, success on the field, academic success, and building relationships with parents are all factors that both coaches point to for their increased numbers. But investing in youth programs is where they believe the true difference is made. We had eighth grade recruit night, and so just like what the colleges do, you bring the kids in and they do the photo shoots and they dress up in the uniforms and have these big elaborate photo shoots. Meeting those kids, getting to know those kids, getting them involved as much as we possibly can early. There's no doubt the game is evolving, and successful coaches and high school programs are evolving with it. Teach differently, we practice differently. Can you get teenagers with unlimited options for entertainment and activities excited to play football? 
Can you prove to mom and dad that safety is being practiced and not just preached? Can you get it done on the field and in the classroom? And can you make the little kids excited to one day wear that high school jersey? Answer yes to the majority of those questions, and your numbers are probably doing just fine. We have a fun program, and we build relationships when we care about kids. Adversity and challenges have always been a part of the game. It's just that now, they're very much a part of keeping the game alive for the next generation. I think it's, it's coming back strong, um, at least here in Central Oregon. In Bend, Eric Lindstrom, Central Oregon Daily News.